Um, I think we're doing a really good job right now. We're trying to focus on the little things because you know the little things will go a long way and trying to focus on being crisp every day at practice and I think um, we're getting better at that each day and trying to work towards our goal. For, for you to advance into the tournament how you want to, what do you need to do well as a team? We need to play clean. We're going to play some really sharp teams and teams that do a lot of things well and we have to play really clean competitive volleyball each and every time we step on the court. This is your second go around in the NCAA tournament. What's different about this year compared to last year? Um, well, last year as a freshman, you're kind of new to the whole experience. You know you have to compete last year too, but you're kind of new to it. You don't know what's going on. This year, more adjusted to it. You know exactly what your goal is. You're going in there hard to compete every day, and you can't take a day off like last year, because if not, you'll get beat. What are you looking forward to about playing at home in the first week? Um, playing in front of our fans. You know, it's the last time we get to play in Rec Hall this season. It's going to be a great opportunity, and I can't wait. I think the last few matches prepared us for our momentum and we're ready to play. I think we're more excited than anything. Um, we, we really want to focus on being crisp and in practice it's shown, so I think we're headed in the right direction. For, for you to have the run that you want to have, what's going to be important for the team in the tournament? Um, the run we want to have has a lot to do with what we do on our side of the court. Um, there are a lot of good teams we could potentially face and will face. Um, and we just got to worry about what we're doing as far as pass, set, hit, just transition, talking, a lot of that. So, Talk about how the rigors of the Big Ten really prepares you for this getting into the postseason. Uh, Big Ten's a hard uh, conference and potentially seeing two or yeah, two Big Ten teams later on in the bracket is kind of scary. I mean, I mean, it's nice though because we know them and we, we know that we can compete with them and it's like I said, it's a tough conference, and every day you go in on the road, and you have to bring your A game. What's fun about being able to play at home uh, on your home floor the first weekend? It's uh, it's really going to be nice to have the crowd, all the familiar faces. Our comfort level is going to be nice. We're not going to have as many nervous plays. We're going to be able to settle down and play our game. How would you evaluate your season setting this year? Uh, I think I've learned a lot. Um, like Coach said, he said on TV that I need to learn how to be more of a leader. I'm kind of a hitter still in my mind, but I've learned a lot. So I'm just still, I'm steady learning here, so. You know, it's it's something I've been looking forward to for a really long time, and it's great to be here. And I just, I just want to play right now and just kind of get the first game under my belt. So it's fun. How much are you looking forward to the fact that it's at home the first weekend versus being on the road? You, it's, it's a great way to get momentum, but it's one game at a time, and you can't look past any opponent, you know, Big Ainton's going to be good and we got to play our best to beat them and hopefully go into the next round, but being at home definitely gives you that edge to give you momentum and the crowd's going to be awesome like they always are and just being here is just like relaxing it's a good way to kind of get games under your belt so you can take them and go forward. You played a lot of matches as a freshman including a rigorous Big Ten schedule. How'd that prepare you for this opportunity? You know, it's like Coach says all the time, Big Ten is the best way to to prepare yourself for moments like this in the tournament because we play great teams back to back every weekend, every night. So it's just a great way to prepare yourself and prepare your team and your body and your stamina and your mental focus and everything. It's a great way to prepare everything and to turn it and channel it into one big goal. What does the team need to do well in the tournament to, to accomplish the things you want to accomplish? Uh, I think we just need to gel and trust each other. You know, it's sometimes it's hard when one person's having a down day or whatever, but I think, you know, if we come together and trust each other, we know exactly what we're capable of. Um, we had to hold each other to the expectations that we know we can do, and then I think after that it's just playing hard and going and going for it. Best of luck. Thank you.